Oh, come on, Joseph. Drake totally won that rap battle. No way, dude. Kendrick bodied his ass. No, Drake has more Grammys and more number one hits. Bro, when he dropped Not Like Us, it was over. Nail in the casket. Uh, this dog... Nail in the coffin. What? The saying is nail in the coffin? Bro, I don't care. Either way, his ass is dead. Drake has more hits than the Beatles. Bro, Drake is a pop star. Kendrick got a pull of surprise. I don't care what kind of surprise Kendrick has. He's not better than Guys, Drake. What's going on? You heard of the Kendrick Lamar Drake beef? No. The, the rap battle between Kendrick Lamar and Drake? No. Jesus! You know who Drake is? Yeah. And you know who Kendrick Lamar is? Kinda. He doesn't know who Kendrick Come Lamar on, is. No, you know who Kendrick Lamar is. No, he knows who Drake is because Drake's more famous no, and better. Drake is lame! Alright, let me explain to you the rap battle between Kendrick Lamar and Drake. Okay. So Kendrick Lamar made a song saying he makes better music than Drake. And then Drake said, you wear small shoes for your small feet. What a bizarre thing to say. And you beat your wife. Oh. And then Kendrick Lamar goes, well, you have a daughter you're hiding from the world, and you're a manipulator, and you shouldn't say the N-word because you're not really black. Mm -hmm. And then Drake said the N-word a lot. And then said, well, you, your, ma your manager is banging your, your baby mama. And then Kendrick Lamar said, you're a pedophile. Mm -hmm. And then Drake said, I don't have a daughter. But what about the pedophile thing? Oh, and then he goes, I'm, I'm too famous to be a pedophile. If I was one of those, I'd be caught because I'm so famous. Well, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, so that's, that's the beef. Who won? Well, from what you just told me, it sounds like Kendrick Lamar won. Oh, thank you. come on. Thank you, thank you. Drake is bigger and more famous, and he can sing and rap. Kendrick can't sing. Come on, it doesn't even matter. He, Kendrick has bars, dude. It oh, doesn't uh, matter. Okay, whatever. It's so dumb. My biggest fear, though, my biggest fear is Kendrick Lamar dissing me because I don't want to be a pedophile. All right. Junior, Kendrick Lamar doesn't even know you exist. But what if he does know I exist and one day I wake up and he's just dissing me and the whole world thinks I'm a pedophile. Well, I don't think you have to worry about that. I don't know. It's so scary because Drake was so famous and now everyone thinks he's a pedophile. Yeah, it's a valid fear, dude. Do you think Kendrick Lamar could make Taylor Swift a pedophile? Oh, definitely, dude. He's like the Thanos of rap. One snap and you're a pedophile. I know. Kendrick Lamar is so scary. He's my biggest fear. Guys, did you hear Chef Pee Pee scream? No. Oh. Oh my god! That was Chef Pee Pee screaming. Oh, let's go see what's going on. Oh my god! Chef Pee Pee, we heard you scream. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. I'm perfectly fine. I was applying for jobs on LinkedIn. And, and you already have a job. Why are you applying for jobs? Look, because I hate it here. I hate existing, breathing, and even seeing you every freaking morning, but I'm stuck here. Look, I was applying for jobs on LinkedIn, and Kendrick Lamar is hiring for a new personal chef, and he's coming here to try my food. And if he likes it, I will get hired. Oh, no, Chef Pee Pee. He's going to call you a pedophile. The fuck? Listen, your, your cooking is really bad, Chef Pee Pee. Your food is gross, and when Kendrick Lamar tastes it, he's gonna hate it, he's gonna make a diss track on your food, and he's gonna call you a pedophile. No, he won't! Look, my food is wonderful! You eat it every night, and I'm no damn pedophile! I like thick white milks! Look, Drake's not a pedophile, but Kendrick Lamar called him a pedophile, so people call Drake a pedophile now! Wait, he, he has that type of power? Kendrick Lamar has the most power. If Kendrick Lamar calls you something, you're that thing now. Look, look, don't worry about it. I, I'm not afraid of it. I, I can cook a perfect meal, and he's going to like it either way. Can you please just call Kendrick Lamar and tell him not to come? No, I need this damn job, Junior. He'll probably just call you a pedophile if you cancel on him. What? No, I'm not a damn pedophile. It won't work. Okay, just please just try to cook your best food. Get out of here, Junior. I'm going to make the best meal ever <laughs> for Mr. Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> Oh, man, guys, we need to do something. Why? Because when Kendrick Lamar tastes Chef Pee-Pee's horrible cooking, he's going to make a diss track and call him names. Or he's just going to not hire Chef Pee-Pee and not need to make a diss track. No, no, no. Kendrick Lamar loves making diss tracks now. Yeah, dude, his finishing move is any career. Yeah, that's how he solves his problems. Okay, so what do we do? Okay, I think what we should do is order food from a very famous restaurant and replace Chef Pee Pee's bad food with the food from the restaurant so when Kendrick Lamar tastes it, he loves the food. Okay, but if he loves the food and he hires Chef Pee Pee, the next time Chef Pee Pee cooks, it'll be bad and he's gonna know Chef Pee Pee lied to him and then he's probably gonna make a diss track. Oh, you're right. We're trying to avoid the diss track. Yeah. Okay, what if we order food from a restaurant that's not good, but it's also not bad? Like, it's just mediocre. It's just, it's just okay food. Well, I feel like if we don't do anything, he's going to think it's just okay and not make a diss track and just leave. No, no, no. Chef Pee's food is so bad, it's, it's, it's diss track worthy. Yeah. It, it's, it's awful. So we need to order food from a restaurant that's not good, but also not bad. Hmm. Denny's? Denny's. 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 Yeah, yeah, Denny's. Denny's. Yeah. Okay, what should we order from Denny's? A moon's over my hammy. What about a grand slamwich? Yeah, they're interchangeable. Either one will work. I'll order both and we decide which one is not as good. Okay. All right, here's the Denny's. Oh, God, Junior. This grand slamwich looks like throw up. What is that? What is that? Oh, uh, yeah, it looks like looks like throw up right there. Oh, it's nasty. Well, look, the moons over my hammy looks pretty good. Should we give this to Kendrick Lamar? Yeah, I think we should definitely go with the moons over my hammy because this grand slamwich doesn't look so grand. All right, I'm gonna go replace this with whatever Chef Pee Pee's cooking. Shit slamwich, right, guys? Shit, it looks like shit. I grabbed the bread. You need the whole thing. 
Uh, you're gonna piss Kendrick off if you don't get the bread, bro. Mm-mm-mm, mm, Chef Pee Pee, you well did yourself this time. A fucking masterpiece. Chef Pee Pee, what'd you cook for Kendrick Lamar? The perfect meal ever, a T-bone steak. Wait, Chef Pee Pee, why is it green? Because it's a dry A steak. The drier, the better. The older, the better. So you just, like, left the steak outside? Yeah, I left it in the grass, you know what I'm saying? Let it get old a little bit. Wait, it's gonna make him sick. It's gonna get you food poisoning. No, it's not. I, I read online. That's what makes it all good and gives it more flavor. Look, just get out of the way. I know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. That thing look good. All right, Mr. Kendrick Lamar, I got your steak for you. He's gonna love it. Ooh. Hey, Chef Pee what's the grapes for? It's steaks and grapes. It's a perfect fit. Duh, idiot. He's gonna love it. Oh, that's him. That's him. Oh, my God. Okay, I have to be quick. Oh, yeah. He's gonna love that. Hello, Mr. Kendrick Lamar? Damn. Oh yeah, you really been Drake over. Oh, I listen to all your music. I'm a big fan. Oh, I made you the best thing ever. Damn. Oh, okay. Is all you're gonna say is damn? Damn. Okay. Well, come on in. I cooked your dinner. Damn. All right, Mr. Kendrick Lamar. Here is your food. Wait, I didn't cook that. Damn. Oh, where's my steak? Where's my steak? You, you. What did you do, my damn steak? All right, Chef PB, I did you a favor, so calm down. I didn't want Kendrick Lamar to make a diss track about you and call you a pedophile, so I replaced the steak you cooked with a Moon's Over My Hammy from Denny's. <laughs> Denny's is the worst meal you could choose! Well, hold on, he might like it, we don't know yet. Hey guys, what's going on? Hey Cody, you see that over there, Kendrick Lamar? Oh, is that who that is? Yeah, can you go ask him if he's enjoying his food? Yeah, sure, I can ask him. Oh, dude, you don't want to watch this. Look, if he's having a good time, he still might hire you. Hey there, Mr. Lamar, my name's Cody. Damn. Oh, is everything okay? Damn. Well, you sure are saying damn a lot. Damn. Oh, I see. That's the name of your album. Damn. Yeah. Well, Harry, are you enjoying your moons over my hammy? Damn. Oh, is that a no? Damn. He's kind of a weird guy, isn't he, Ken? Are you talking to your doll? Oh, this is not a doll. This is my boyfriend. <laughs> what, what is that? <laughs> Mm. Do you think he can talk? Well, of course he can talk. He's my boyfriend. And breathe? Well, yeah, he is alive. But what are you, uh, what are you writing? What? Um, he is a weird guy, isn't he, Ken? <laughs> Don't worry, Chef Pee, Pee He's probably gonna like the moons over my hand. <gasps> oh, Cody! I need to know. What did he say? Please tell me. Well, he didn't really say much of anything. He just said damn. Wait, damn? Was it a good damn, bad damn, what? I don't know. He didn't even taste the food. What did it taste? I, I don't know. He just wrote down a bunch of stuff and then he ran away. Aw, oh, damn! He's a food critic! Well, what'd he write down? I don't know. He didn't show me. Aw, oh, man. Hopefully I'll get my review in the mail in like a week or so. Yeah, it better be good. Let us know what he says, Chef Pee Pee. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous. Ooh, dude, what did Kendrick Lamar say about the food? He didn't say anything. He didn't even try it. Aw, oh, man. I know why. He probably thought Drake poisoned it. Shit, I would poison it if I was Drake. Ultimate revenge. You just said he was writing stuff down? Yeah, and he asked a bunch of questions about Ken. I told him he was my boyfriend, then he just started writing. Mm, I don't think he's gay, so he's probably not gonna steal your boyfriend. Oh, <gasps> look, the news! That was your line. Oh. The news! Breaking news! Kendrick Lamar has released a new diss track targeted towards a kid named Cody! He made a diss track on you, Cody?! Why? I didn't even do anything! Let's see what he has to say. Zilat Thu Zeb Ewok. Play that shit backwards, it might mean something. I see dead dogs. What's that on that beat, ho? Uh, muscle it on the beat, ho, we know Kids are freaking dog, just believe, yo No way you think that he's alive, be real, bro Carrying around a piece of plastic like a fucking deal, though I'm tired of you weird-ass niggas and your G.I. Joes Plaid shirt, four wives, and you got no hoes You say kids alive, nigga, better check your nose Kid can move to tell me why he can't change that pose Shoot, shoot, shoot Kids a fucking dog He's a dog Bitch, bitch, bitch Kids a fucking dog He's a dog He can't breathe, he can't breathe, he can't breathe, nigga he can't breathe, he can't breathe. He can't do it, he can't do it, he can't take a fucking breath. He can't do it, he can't do it, he can't take a fucking breath. He a plastic ass nigga and Cody play with dolls. He a plastic ass nigga and Cody play with dolls. plastic ass. Oh no, Cody, well at least he didn't call you a pedophile. Oh, that nigga a pedophile! 
He like boy booty. He play with dolls too. What? That doesn't even make any sense. I'm a kid. Not gonna lie, bro. That was pretty fire. And it was spot on. I agree with everything he says. But why would he say that? I didn't do anything to him. I'm not a rapper. Well, maybe he saw you being weird with Ken and he just wanted to make fun of you. I mean, you don't do weird stuff in front of Kendrick Lamar. He'll call you out. Yeah, you walk around with Ken all day. You're just asking for it, dude. But why would Kendrick Lamar say those things? Well, are you gonna respond? Well, respond? I can't respond. What bad things could I say about him? Oh, you're a multimillionaire with a bunch of Grammys and a Pulitzer Prize and also you beat Drake, one of the most famous people in the world. Oh, yeah, that'll show him. Shit, say something. Yeah, you gotta respond with something. Well, I can't respond with... What was that, Ken? Well, Ken wants to respond. Wait, he does? Yeah. Well, Ken, I don't think this is a good idea. He's not gonna care about your abs, or that you're an astronaut, or a rocket scientist. He's not gonna care that you were in the Barbie movie, Ken. Probably because he's a doll, dude. He's not a doll, Joseph! And also Kendrick Lamar. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take Ken to the studio so he can spit. I'm just kidding. Ken doesn't spit. He swallows. <laughs> Loads. But don't say that in the song, Ken. I don't think people will like that. Okay, guys, we're back from the studio. Ken recorded the hardest rap song ever. I mean, he spit bars. I burned it onto a CD, and I put it in the PlayStation in front of us. Wait, how old are you, nigga? Well, it's on the TV up there. There's, there's a TV, I promise. We just never show it. But, guys, you guys want to watch the music video that Ken made by himself? Let's watch it. Damn. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, you guys hear that? Oh, bodied, right? Oh, Ken is spitting up there. Where's the lyrics, Cody? What, what are you talking about? He's singing the lyrics. Don't you hear him? Damn. Maybe we can't hear him because he's a doll. He's not a doll, and how can you guys not hear what he's saying? Cody, there's no words to this song. It's just a beat. Wait, you guys are telling me you didn't just hear him say K-Dot? More like K-Not? Can't hang with the big shots? Your legacy's a short story built on weak plots. I'm the truth spitter, a real glitter shitter. You're just a pretender, just a bitter critter. You didn't hear him say that? No. Wait, so you guys are telling me you didn't just hear him say, so here's my diss track, K-Dot. Take it to heart. You're just another rapper playing another part. You act like you're a legend, but let's rewind. You weren't relevant till you just straight. Now give me that behind. You didn't hear any of that? He did not say that, no. What are you guys, deaf? There's no word, it's just a beat. He can't record music because he's a doll. Well, maybe I have to turn up the vocals. I told you, Ken, let me turn up the vocals. Cody, I, I, I've been thinking about it. I think it's just smart not to respond to Kendrick Lamar because then he's going to re reply with even worse diss and even worse diss. And I think what's best is just to ignore him and he'll go away. Okay, if you guys think so. Yeah, just delete that song that you recorded. Dude, what do you think Kendrick Lamar is doing now? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pedophile. <laughs> mm, die, Drake. <laughs> oh, this'll get him. <laughs> wop, wop, wop. Oh, look at the kiki. Hey, Junior. Oh, hey, Cody. Well, who's that? Oh, it's my cat. Well, what's his name? Oh, it's Blue Eyes White Kiki. You know, like Blue Eyes White Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh? But this one's a Kiki. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hey, look at my coin collection. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, check this out. I got all these pennies. Oh, but this one's my favorite one. See, that's a 1943 steel penny. Now I know what you're thinking. Cody, aren't pennies made of copper? Well, Junior, normally you'd be right. But you see, in 1943, that's when World War II was happening, and they needed the copper for war materials. So they stopped producing copper pennies and made them out of steel instead. So if you get a copper penny from 1943, it's really valuable, because that means it was minted by mistake. But this one, this one's made of steel, so it's not that valuable, but it's a piece of history, so to me, it's priceless. Oh, that's really cool, Cody. Hold on, I'll show you another one. Well, there's a lot of fur on my couch. Let me get my lint roller. Let me see, let me find a good one. Oh, yeah, this one's really cool. Oh, you're gonna love this. Okay, check this one out, Junior. It's from 1919. Wait, Junior. What happened to my penny? I don't know, it's right here. I, I don't know what happened to it. Well, it's gone now. When did you take it? I did not take it, Cody. You were I was lint rolling the couch and you were looking at your pennies. I didn't take it. Well, I didn't just get up and walk away, Junior. Pennies don't have legs. I don't know what happened to it, Cody. I didn't touch it. Well, you just made it disappear like your David Copperfield. Or more like David Pennyfield, or, or David David Steelfield, because because it's made of steel and not copper, like like pennies normally are, and you made it disappear, and David Copperfield makes things disappear because he's a he's a magician. I didn't touch your stupid penny, Cody. I don't care about your dumb pennies or your penny collection. No, Junior, I'm so mad, but I gotta go say something real quick. The internet browser you're using sucks. Wanna know why? Because it doesn't have custom SML mods. It's time to fix that with Opera GX. Once you download Opera GX, it's super easy to jump into the GX store and find the SML mod. Just click install and let us take over your browser's wallpaper, sound effects, and more. So, guys, it even lets you play Jeffy's cat piano when you type. 
They also added our theme song as background music. You can even customize our theme just the way you like it by turning parts of the mod on and off directly from the menu. If you ever want to try out more of the Opera GX mods, there are tons to choose from in the GX store, and switching between them is super easy. Opera GX has other awesome features too, like making your work with AI as easy as possible by building it right into the sidebar with Aria, ChatGPT, and ChatSonic. You can use these to help with your homework, write essays, or even generate images. Moving over to Opera GX is simple with their quick import tool that lets you bring all your bookmarks and settings from your old browser with just a few clicks. Show your love for our channel by using the link in the description to download Opera GX today. Thank you to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. Ugh, Junior, ugh, that ad read temporarily distracted me, but now that I'm back and I'm seeing you, I am so mad, I can't believe you would steal my steel penny like that. I did not steal your steel penny, Cody. Oh yeah, well then who did? It's just me and you here, Junior, I don't see anybody else, unless it was your stupid cat. Actually, I shouldn't call him stupid. He seemed very nice and he was very fluffy, so I shouldn't say that. But I bet he didn't take my penny, because he's a cat. He doesn't know about money. He doesn't care. He doesn't know the difference between steel and copper. He doesn't know about World War II. He doesn't know history, Junior. He doesn't care. He's a cat. He did not steal your penny, Cody. No one stole it. It's just lost. Oh, yeah? Well, it was a steel penny, so that's why I think you wanted to steal my steel penny. I did not want to steal your steel penny, Cody. No one cares about your stupid penny. Only you care about pennies. Oh, Junior, this really salts my apples. Oh, boy. Oh, you, you are a big jerk. Just a big jerk face. You don't mean that. I do. I mean every word of it, Junior. You're the biggest jerk face I've ever seen. Take it back. Nope. You are a bad guy. You are not a good person. Oh, uh, you are You are rooting for a bootin'. You are clamoring for a hammer, hammering, mister. You are yearning for a burning. Oh, you make me so mad. If I was at a grocery store, I would I would kick a shopping cart. I would. I would kick a shopping cart. But not, not somebody else's shopping cart. I wouldn't want to damage anybody else's produce. No, it would be my shopping cart and probably not in the parking lot because I, I wouldn't want it to roll away and hit somebody's car and cause property damage. I would... That'd be bad. I, I don't want that. But but no, I, I would kick it just so it made the sound, you know? But but not too hard, though, because I, I don't want to damage the shopping cart because then the store would hold me responsible. And I don't want to have to pay for that. I, I'd, I'd just kick it right into the shopping cart return, but but probably, probably I wouldn't do that either because then it might roll away and then the shopping cart boy would have to chase after it and he doesn't get paid enough for that kind of an inconvenience. So I, I wouldn't kick a shopping cart at all, but I am so mad, Junior. You are munching for a punching. Hey, Junior, are you ready to go to the movies? Oh, wow. Oh, so you're gonna spend my stolen penny on a movie ticket? Cody, a movie ticket costs more than a penny. Junior, I'll have you know that steel penny was worth 13 to 30 cents depending on the condition, and it wasn't in very good condition, so it's probably more like 13 cents. And why is there another cat in here, Junior? Are you spending my penny on cats? You need more cats? Wait, Cody, you had a steel penny? I had a steel penny until somebody decided to get sticky fingers. Junior, you stole Cody's steel penny? I did not steal his stupid penny. I don't know what happened to it. Oh, he stole it, Penelope because it was right there. I'm talking right there. I mean, literally right there. And I look down for one second, and then I look back up and poof, it's gone. Just like poof. I did not take his stupid penny, Penelope. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He just lost his own penny, and he wants to blame someone for it. Junior, it's not funny. Give it back to him. I did not take his stupid penny. Let's just go to the dumb movies. What movie are you guys in? Kung Fu Panda 4. Oh, wow. Okay, Kung Fu Panda. That sounds really fun. Well, why don't you just come with us? No, no, I don't have enough money because I'm 13 to 30 cents short because somebody stuck my penny. Cody, I'll get your ticket. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, Penelope C. Jr. That's what a real friend looks like. I would not steal your stupid penny because I don't care about your dumb penny. How about you guys just go to the movies because I haven't even seen the first three Kung Fu Pandas. Oh, <gasps> wow. Okay, now you know he's a thief. He hasn't even seen the first three. Well, I don't like karate movies. Well, it's not karate, Jr. It's Kung Fu. It's a completely different martial art. And everybody loves Kung Fu fighting. Okay, well, listen, I'll, look, I'll just go see the fourth one. I don't have to see the first three. You can't start with the fourth one. You gotta see the first three. The Star Wars movies are out of order. True. You, you start with the fourth one with the Star Wars. But it, it's not like that with Kung Fu Panda. Listen, it doesn't matter. Let's go see the stupid dumb movie. Well, I'm coming too. You're, you're not getting out of this that easy. Sorry, excuse me, sorry, sorry. Hey, Junior, I can't help but notice you bought the large popcorn. That'll run you about $12.50. That's a lot of money to spend on popcorn. It's almost like you came into a lot of money lately. Cody, you said your stupid penny was worth 30 cents. This popcorn was $12.50. How would I buy popcorn with your penny? I don't know, Junior. I don't know how many steel pennies you've been stealing from around town since you're so good at making them disappear. Shh! The movie's starting! Hiya! Hiya! Skadoosh! I'm Jack Black as a panda! Hiya! 
So his dad's a bird? Shh. Oh, I really would love to see all this kung fu happening on the screen, but I just can't take my eyes off of Junior because I can't trust him for a second. Kung fu? How about panda fu? Hey, Junior, I got some gummy bears. Try not to take any. Oh, but you won't want them because they're not made of steel. Because if they made them out of steel, that would be a choking hazard and they might get sued, so they probably wouldn't do that. Shh, guys, I'm trying to watch the movie. Sorry. You better not take any of those. I don't want any of them. Well, actually, I don't even know if I want them, because they might taste like whoever sat here's butt. Actually, you know what? Get this one out of the way. Oh, I dropped one on the ground, Cody. Oh, you're so embarrassing! I can't believe you stole my gummy bear, too, Junior. I didn't steal your stupid gummy bear. It fell on the floor. And I can't believe you guys got us kicked out of the movie theater. That was so embarrassing. Well, this could all be resolved if Junior would just put his hand in his pocket and pull out my steel penny. I don't have anything in my pocket because I don't have pockets. Okay, well, your shoe, then. I don't have your penny in my shoe. I didn't steal your stupid penny, Cody. Yeah, well, I already called the police. But you called the police? Yep, that's how serious this is. They're on their way over here right now. Oh, please tell me it's not my dad. Hey, Leah, somebody called the cops? Yeah, I did. Oh, hey, Penelope. Hi, Dad. Did you do your homework? Yes, Dad. Are you sure? Dad! You know, Penelope, whenever I ask the guys in death row if they did their homework when they were a kid, they say, yeah, I killed them and I kill them again, too. I don't really like to talk to them. Wow, Dad, that's a great story. Thanks. Well, I would like to report a robbery. Oh, a robbery, huh? Did he have a gun? I don't know. I never thought he would steal from me, so who knows what else he's capable of. Okay, well, what did he steal? My 1943 steel penny. You see, during World War II, they didn't make pennies with copper. And yeah, no, I, I know the story about the pennies. So was it a copper penny or a steel penny? Because if it was a copper penny, that would be worth over a million dollars, and that would be a very serious crime. No, it was a steel penny. Oh, okay, well, that's not that big of a deal. I mean, they're only worth a few cents. I mean, anything under $500 would just be considered petty theft. Oh, it was petty, all right. Well, he stole it, and I want him in handcuffs. Okay, well, let me conduct my police interrogation. Hey, you steal his penny? No. Oh, okay. Well, is there anybody else who could have seen this happen? Well, his cat? Well, I guess we could ask the cat. Okay, I'll go ask him. Hey, cat, you steal my penny? Huh? Wait, don't run away from me. Hey! <sighs> Did you talk to the cat? Yeah, but he ran away from me. But that's okay, he seemed pretty innocent to me. And besides, I think I already know who the thief is. I think he's in this room. I just wish he would own up to it. I didn't steal your penny, Cody. Oh, really, Junior? That's very interesting you're the first one to respond, because I wasn't talking to you. I was just talking to the thief, so it's really interesting you're the first one to answer. Well, I thought you were talking to me because you've been accusing me all day of stealing it. Or maybe you just felt guilty for stealing my penny. I don't feel guilty. Oh, okay. See, he feels no remorse, so he's also a narcissist as well as a thief. Cody, are you sure it didn't fall on, like, the couch cushions or something? No, it didn't. Junior stole it. Well, did you check the couch cushions? No, and I will not do that. Okay. Okay, well, what if you accidentally put it back in the coin bin without realizing it? I would have remembered doing that. Cody, come on, check your coins. Maybe it somehow got back in there and we just didn't notice. Or maybe you put it in the coin bin. I, I don't, well, maybe even, even if I did, you should check it. Okay, I guess it can hurt to check. Nope, not that one. Or that one. Nope, not that one. That one's 1997. No, 1985. 2004. Nope. Nope, not that one. Or that one. Wait, hold on. No, 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 not that one. Nope. Not that one either. Nope. Nope. Not that one. Nope. Still not seeing it. Nope. Well, that one's a quarter. Can I go now? No, because I want to press charges. You really want this to go to court? Yes, I want a judge to decide. Okay, come on then. Ugh. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Boober, and today we will be hearing the case of Cody, who says that his friend Junior... He is not my friend! Hmm, yes, thank you for clarifying. Let the record show that Junior is not Cody's friend. Okay, Cody claims that his not friend, Junior, stole his 1943 steel penny. Cody, tell us what happened. Well, Your Honor, I was showing my coin collection to someone I thought was my friend. But it turns out he was just a coin thief pretending to be my friend. I showed him one of my many steel pennies and placed it right there on the couch. I'm talking right beside me. Like, literally right, right freaking there. And then I looked down for one second and the steel penny was gone. Junior took it because he knew it was valuable and priceless to me. Hmm, I see. 
This is a very serious accusation. Junior, did you really steal his penny? No, I wouldn't steal his dumb, stupid steel penny. I did not care about it. He was showing me his dumb coin collection, and I really did not care at all. And then he put it on the couch, and I don't know what happened to it. It just went missing, and he wants to blame me for it. I know you took my goddamn penny, you big jerk. You, you big old jerk face, the biggest jerk face I've ever seen. Oh, no, 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 no. I will not have any name calling or foul language in my courtroom. Cody, you have not shown me any evidence that would prove Junior guilty, so I have no choice but to find Junior not guilty. Yes! What? Are you kidding me? Justice has not been served today, Your Honor. You just let a thief loose back into the public. If your steel penny gets stolen, don't come crying to me, but I know who did it. See, Cody, I told you I wasn't guilty. Yeah, well, the judge wasn't there, and I don't even think he was a real judge, so I want to see his credentials. You guys, this whole thing is just so stupid. Can we let it go? No, Penelope, it was a steel penny. They don't make them like that anymore. Guys, what is this? It's a lint roller, idiot. Look what's on the lint roller, idiot. Probably lint. Get your good glasses on, Cody. Look. Let me see that. What? My penny. <laughs> oh, when I was rolling up the fur, I must have accidentally rolled up your penny. Wow, I guess I can take these mad eyes off. I don't need these anymore. <laughs> well, don't I just feel silly? <laughs> yeah, it was just a big misunderstanding. Yeah, aren't I just the silliest goose? It was just a big old accident. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, Junior. That happens to everybody. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's the open things happen, you know? <laughs> well, that's just so silly. But you know what isn't silly? Opera GX. Last time on Jeffy Ball Z. Just when Jeffy finally got to use a wish and everything seemed peaceful, a mysterious figure emerged from the darkness. Is he friend or foe? Let's find out. So we're cool, right? Right, man? We're cool? Right? We're cool? You got me and my wife killed. Yeah, but I died too, and hey look, we're all back to life now, so we're cool. But you didn't know you were gonna die. No, but everything worked out, so we're cool. But if you could go back in time and make that same deal, but you know you won't die, would you do it again? Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. But that guy's dead, so I could never do that, so we're cool, right? Right? We're cool? I can tell by the look on your face that we're cool. Yeah, we're cool. I'm gonna leave. Jeffy, you gotta cut this Dragon Ball shit out. But Daddy, if I collect all the Dragon Balls, then I could wish to be the biggest super sandwich the world has ever seen. No, Jeffy, you don't have to look for any more Dragon Balls. Just cut it out because you got us killed last time. But I want my wish. No, Jeffy, you already used a wish. Well, I had to use it to wish you guys back alive. Now, if I get another wish, I can wish for infinite wishes. I mean, you could wish for infinite wishes. Jiro Fingershits have finally completed the perfect android, the perfect tool for world domination, Android 19, which is way cooler and more successful than my last experiment, COVID-19, which I really thought was going to cure the flu, and boy was I wrong. That was a huge disaster. But anyway, Android 19 will show the world just how smart and sexy I am, and all of the women of the world would say, Dr. Fingershits, you are so smart and sexy, and they will want to rob my big, beautiful, uncertain circumcised brain, especially the fat ones. I am a bit of a chubby chaser. I want to be able to grab any part of her and it feel like boobies. Don't judge me. Okay, now, Android 19, rise! Rise and go find me the sexiest, fattest woman to be my queen! Yes, master. Yes! <laughs> Jeffy, I think the smartest decision is to not chase those Dragon Balls anymore. Me. What the hell is that? Hey, what are you doing? Fat barrel chested woman acquired. Excuse me? You are coming with me. Hey you, get away from my mommy. Photon laser. <laughs> See Jeffy, that's why you have to cut this Dragon Ball shit out. There's a random robot in the house. Sciatic pain. What? Oh, my sciatic nerve. Ow. Ugh, no one gets on my daddy's nerves except for me. Oh. <laughs> Why didn't it work? I am impervious to energy blasts. Photon laser. <laughs> now come with me, Tubby. No! Jeffy, go save her! Go save her right now! I can't. Oh. I'm too weak. No! Maybe go. you're right, Daddy. Maybe I should give up the Dragon Balls. No, don't give it up! Go get Rose and then give up! No, Daddy. He's too powerful. No, Jeffy, come on! You can fight him! Uh, I quit. You have yellow hair! Uh. Jeffy! My sciatic nerve! Jeffy, it hurts! It hurts so bad! Go get Rose! Jeffy!
Oh, I'm so excited for my fat, beautiful queen! Master, I have brought you a fat, barrel-chested female as you requested. What is this? She is not fat! Thank you! Well, she is a little bit fat, but I want it big, obese, gigantic, like my 600-pound life! Well, she is a little barrel-chested, so I'll give you that. Hey! I'm sorry, Master, I have failed you. Yes, you have! And since you can't do your job right, I will take care of her myself! Come with me, not very fat lady! I'm a failure. I couldn't even save my own mom. I'm too weak. <sighs> What's going on, Jeff? You got your depressed hair on. My mom got kidnapped, and I'm too weak to save her. I'm giving up forever, Junior. Don't give up. You can get stronger. You can go save her. No, I can't. I'm a failure, and I'm never going to be strong enough again. Well, there's this guy I know. He can train you to be stronger. How? How, Junior? Well, all you have to do is bring him a cheesecake, and he'll teach you how to get stronger. If I bring him a cheesecake, I'll be strong enough to save my mom? Yeah, I think so. Then let's bring him a cheesecake. I have to save my mom, Junior. Come on, let's go. All right, Jeffy. There's the cheesecake. Grab it. Okay. What are you losing to? It in my kitchen. Oh no, it's Chef Pee Pee. Uh, put that cheesecake back before I turn you into miss me. Oh no, Jeffy, we're gonna have to fight him. I can't. I'm too weak. Okay, then I guess I'm gonna have to fight you. Oh, you're no match for my death fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God I beat him to it. I thought he had me. All right, let's go grab my phone off the couch and put my wig back on, and then we can go, go give the cheesecake to the guy. Okay. Oh, look, there's my phone. I'll get it. Well, Jeffy, how can you eat cheesecake at a time like this? Rose is kidnapped. You need to save her. Well, that's exactly why I need the cheesecake, so I can get stronger. No, cheesecake's not going to make you stronger. It's going to make you have diarrhea. Hopefully. Well, look, there's the news. Breaking news, McKay. A mad scientist has kidnapped a woman, and he has something he wants to tell the world. Let's go to that now. I am Dr. Jiro Finkelschitz, and my mustache is falling off, goddammit. What, <coughs> please? I bet you're wondering why I'm on your television screen. Well, I will tell you. I want the Dragon Balls, and I will execute this not very fat lady every... Hold, hold, please. <coughs> I will execute this not very fat lady in 24 hours if I do not get the Dragon Balls, and I will execute another not fat lady, whatever, if I don't get the Dragon Balls in another 24 hours. If you're thinking about stopping me, don't, because I have this very scary robot who will kill you. Thank you very much. Oh no! That crazy scientist is gonna kill Rose! You have to get the Dragon Balls and give them to him! Or I could get the Dragon Balls and wish for Mommy to be safe, like she just poofs out of there like poof. Or we can get the Dragon Balls and then go beat up that scientist and get Rose back, and then we can use the Dragon Balls to wish for something cool like a spaceship. Or you guys can say screw it to the Dragon Balls and go beat up the scientist right now and get Rose back before he kills her. Well, I gotta go get strong first. I got your phone, Junior. You better hurry, Jeffy. You better hurry. Look, Jeffy. There it is. There's the chamber. What are you doing in my swamp? Well, Mr. Shrekami, um, Jeffy's mom, she got kidnapped. And we need to go save her because she'll be killed in 24 hours. So we were wondering if we could use your chamber to train. Do you even know what this chamber is? It's a hyperbolic time donkey chamber. Every hour spent in this chamber is equivalent to one day here on Earth. I know, and that's why we want to use it to train. Well, the only way I'm going to let you use my chamber chamber is if you bring me the Sarah Lee Creamy Cream Cheesecake! Jeffy, hand it to him. Oh, there she is. The Sarah Lee Classic Creamy Cheese Creamy Cake Smooth and Creamy No Artificial Flavors Cheesecake! I will now make love. You guys go ahead and go in the chamber and do whatever you have to do. All right, Jeffy, you go in first, and then after 12 hours, you come out and let me go in. Yeah, strong as fuck. Whoa, Jeffy, you look so strong. My turn, my turn. Hold on there, donkey. Only one entry per cheesecake. So if you want to go into the chamber, you have to bring me a creamy, cream, cream cheesecake. But we only had one cheesecake. Well, then get the hell out of my swamp. Oh, I want to be strong, but at least you're strong now, Jeffy. Let's go. Fuck yeah, daddy. I'm ready to kick the shit out of somebody. Whoa, Jeffy, what happened to your hair? I put gel in it, and I also went super re-re, too. So you're strong enough to go save Rose? Yeah. Come on, Junior. Let's go kick some supernatural...
ass. There! I had to take your mouth because you were being so annoying with all of the please don't kill me and I don't want to die! Shut up! Well now, it has been 23 hours and 59 minutes, so in one minute, I can finally kill you! Hey, stop right there. Stay away from my mommy. You are too late, man who uses too much hairspray! It's actually hair gel. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm going to kill your mommy! No, you're not. Come on, Jeffy, let's kick his ass! It's pointless to even try! Android 19 kills him! Yes, master. Come on, Jeffy, I got this. It's just a stupid little little robot. Sciatic pain. What the, ah, my back, oh my god, it hurts. I think. Oh, you done did it now. I'm gonna power up my RPMs, my retards per minute. I already told you that your attacks are pointless. What? Yeah, I lost a chromie, but I found it. <laughs> Me. Android 19, what the hell was that? He is too powerful, master. Well, do something, kill him. Critical malfunction, global self-destruct, happening in 10 seconds. Yes, you hear that? Global self-destruct, now you're in trouble. Wait, did you say global? He's going to blow up the entire world, do something, kill him. You fucking did it, fuckhead. Take him, take him somewhere. I don't want any part of this. Instant transition. Oh my God, I'm a girl. Give me awards, woman of the year. Oh wait, wrong one. Instant transmission. I brought us in space, so when you explode, you won't hurt anybody. Oh wait, what about me? Okay, here's your wife. What? Rose, you're back? But where's Jeffy? Oh, well, I got my ass kicked by the robot because he kicked me in the sciatic nerve. What? Mine too, he hit me in the back. Is Jeffy okay? What? Look, the news! Breaking news, MK! A robot was going to self-destruct and destroy the entire world. But some guy named Jeffrey took the robot into space and sacrificed himself to save the world. But he is dead. Wait, Jeffy's dead? No! After a grueling battle where Jeffy rescued his mommy, he made the noble sacrifice to save the Earth, blowing himself up in the process. Will Marvin and Junior's sciatic nerves ever recover? Is Jeffy really dead? Find out next time on Jeffy Ball Z. want to do today? Junior, there's this new TV show called Blue's Clues, and we have to watch it. It's about this blue dog that, like, solves crimes, and there's this guy who can jump inside paintings, and he can talk to food seasonings, and sometimes he even gets mail and he can talk to it. That's not a real show. Junior, I promise it is. Well, I want to watch it. Uh, help me find the remote. Okay. Where's the TV remote at? Where is it? What? Mm -hmm. Junior, the TV's turning off and on. Oh, I got what? It. I'm Why is it doing that? Is my house possessed by ghosts? Oh, dude, I'm scared. Oh, 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 oh no, there's a ghost in the house. Yeah, that's strange. It's day. Wait, wait stop. I'm writing a letter wait, to okay, well, maybe it was just a glitch in the TV. Yeah. All right, let's find the remote. What? Wait, 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 look, now the volume's going out. What? Be a ghost. Wait, 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 Jeffy, is the remote in your pants? No, I'm just rocking a full solid right now. Some people just tuck it in their waistband, but I tuck mine in my collar. Wait, hold on. It is in your pants, Jeffy. Oh, honest mistake. I thought it was something else. All right, Cody, I'm going to switch to the channels. Tell me when you find the show. Okay. Ooh, wait, Junior, the news. Breaking news, MK. Floyd Mayweather has made $100 million fighting Logan Paul. What? That guy got $100 million just to fight someone? I'll fight someone for $100 million. Dude, I'll punch Cody for $100 million. I'll punch Cody for $100 million. Ow! 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 Where's my $100 million? Where's my $100 million? Yeah, that's like $300 million right there. Guys, nobody is going to pay you $100 million just to hit me. Well, that guy got $100 million to hit someone. Well, that's because he's a professional boxer and he won 50 times. I'll fight 50 people for $100 million. Yeah, yeah so, so if I record Jeffy fighting 50 people, will he get $100 million? No, because he's not a boxer. Well, the Paul guy's not a boxer. He got money. Oh, I guess that's true. Wait, so, so if I record Jeffy knocking out 50 people, they'll give us $100 million? Well, I mean, if you show him the video, he might accept a fight. Oh, okay, so uh, Jeffy, I'm gonna grab my phone and I'm gonna record you knocking out 50 people. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, I got my phone. Jeffy, you ready to knock some people out? Yeah, let's do it. Who's he gonna knock out first, Junior? Uh, Joseph, you up first. Wait, why me? I don't wanna get knocked out. Because, Joseph, we have to knock out 50 people. That's a lot of people. And plus, Jeffy's gonna split the money, right? Yeah, because you guys are helping me. That's $100 million split four ways. That's $25 million. You're saying you're not gonna get knocked out for $25 million? <sighs> I guess. All right, so I want you and Jeffy to fight, all right? <laughs> Round one, fight. <laughs> oh, oh, he got knocked out. Oh, I have to feel 
got a win. Oh, it feels great. First round TKO. Totally called it. Oh, yeah. You're going to fight someone else next. Oh, yeah. All right. We're going to go fight Chef PB, all right? All right. Let's do it. Oh my god, this looks so good. Oh, I think it's missing a few more goldfish. Hey, Chef PB. Junior, why are you recording me? <laughs> oh, oh, he's out. Oh, he's out. Oh, oh, how's it feel to win again? Feels great. Totally called it. Two times in a row. Two KO. Yeah, two and oh, two and oh. Oh, how'd you feel about that? It didn't really seem fair. He didn't even see it coming. You gotta watch out for that left hook. It's really powerful. W while you're cooking? Yep, even while you're cooking. The first rule of boxing is always be prepared. Well, who's, who's he gonna knock out now, Junior? Uh, call your parents. Well, I'm not letting him knock out my parents. You're not gonna be letting him knock out your parents. It's up to you if your parents can fight or not. Well, my mom is pretty scrappy. Look, call your parents, and we're gonna knock him out right at the door. He can get two in one fight. Okay. Uh, hello? Hey there, Cody said we should come over. Hey, you recording us? Because I don't consent. I got a warrant. Oh, I've always wanted to be on television. Hello, world. My name is Judy. I'm single. What'd you say, woman? All right, Jeffy, go, go, go. Ding, ding. Bah! Ain't nobody can hit my woman but me. Ding, ding. Bah! Oh, 4-0. Oh, 4-0. Oh, I oh, defeated. I defeated. Woo! Woo! Jeffy, how's it feel to be 4-0 undefeated? Amazing, Junior! Uh, are my parents okay? I didn't want to watch. Oh, they drop like flies. Uh, well, can we at least knock out your parents now? Or at least your dad, since you don't have a mom? Cody, trust me. If I had a mom, I'd knock her out for $25 million. Well, Junior, do you really think it's worth all the money to give 50 people brain damage? Yeah. It's $25 million, Cody. <laughs> all right, Jeffy, you're going to go knock out my dad next, okay? All right, let's do it. All right, let's go. <laughs> Charlie and Friends was filmed in front of a live audience. Oh, hi guys, I'm Charlie, and today, I'm getting high! <laughs> look guys, look at how high I am! <laughs> oh, Charlie, you're so funny! Alright, Jeffy, there's my dad in bed. I want you to put him to sleep. You want me to read him a bedtime story first? Yeah, read him the three little pigs. Alright. When the first little piggy built his house out of straw, and the second little piggy built his house out of bricks, and the third little piggy just hired me to stand outside of his house. Man, what are you guys doing in here? Bah! Oh! 5-0! 5-0 oh! undefeated champion! Undefeated! Oh! Woo! 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 Did he knock out your dad? Oh yeah, he put him to sleep. Night, night, night. <laughs> He gave him that one piece with no honey mustard. No biscuit, no drink, he got ripped off. Well, who are you gonna knock out next? Anyone who steps in front of me? Well, well, Jeffy, you kind of been knocking out nobodies. Nobody's gonna think you're a real fighter. You need to knock out like a celebrity, somebody that everybody knows. But what celebrity is gonna let you knock him out? Uh, my dad was watching Charlie and Friends. What if he knocks out Charlie from Charlie and Friends? What, you really think he'd let you do that? Yeah, we just gotta find him. Well, I'm pretty sure he records his episodes in your house, so let's just go downstairs and get him. All right, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> All right, Jeffy, you're about to do your first celebrity boxing match. How do you feel? Feeling good, Junior. About to go 6-0. How are you feeling? Oh, hi, guys. I'm Charlie. Where's the crowd from? Wait, why do you have a box? Oh, I thought we were boxing. <laughs> All right, guys. And fight! Uh-oh. Oh, 6-0! Oh, 6-0! Oh, 6-0! Oh, 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 Woo! 6-0, you just knocked out Charlie and friends. Well, he knocked out Charlie, not all his friends. Oh, Jeffy, you should have knocked out all of Charlie's friends. That would have been a lot of people. Oh, man. Well, who are you going to knock out now, Jeffy? Hmm. Well, we haven't knocked out my mommy and daddy yet. Oh, yeah, let's go fight your mom and dad. Well, let's do it. Th these aren't really fights. He's just kind of hitting people. It doesn't matter. He's undefeated. They can always hit him back. They're choosing not to fight back. Come on. Marvin, didn't I do a good job making dinner tonight? Yep, you did a really good job putting these pizza rolls in the oven for 15 minutes. Aw, thank you. Jeffy, time for dinner. Wait, Jeffy, why do you have boxing gloves on? Ding, ding, pow. What? Jeffy, you can't hit her like that. Ding, ding, pow. Ah! Woo! Woo! Jeffy is now 8-0. No. Who can beat me? Who can beat me? I don't know. Maybe somebody who can actually fight back. Well, Cody, you just sound jealous. Look, we'll have to knock out 42 more people. W what? Before he gets life in jail? No, before he can fight Floyd Mayweather and get us $100 million. Well, Junior, there's no way we can show him knocking out 42 more people. That would take like an hour. Oh, you're right. We need a montage. It's montage time! How many people did he knock out, Junior? I think he's 31-0. Oh, great. He only needs 19 more. Jeffy, huh? do it. Okay. Ow! Do you give up? Yes! Oh, 32-0! 
Oh, <sighs> great, now you only need 18 more. Where are we gonna find 18 more people to knock out? Breaking news, okay? There is a crazy lunatic that is running around and punching people in the face. If you see this man, call 911 immediately. Oh. Ugh. Ugh, 33 and no. Oh my god, Jeffy, now you only need 17 more and you can fight Floyd Mayweather. But Junior, didn't you see the news? He's wanted by the police. You have to stop this. Well, no, we just have a few more and we can fight Floyd Mayweather for $100 million. Junior, that's not gonna happen. Uh, there's someone at the door. <gasps> Jeffy, come on. It might be Floyd Mayweather. You can knock him out. Okay. It's not Floyd. Hello, Floyd Mayweather? Yeah, I'm looking for Jeffy. Oh no, it's the cops, Junior! Oh, you can't arrest us now, we're so close! Okay, so he is the one who's been knocking people out. Yeah, but it's for a good reason, don't arrest us. Oh, I'm not here to arrest you, I'm here to thank you. See, one of the people he knocked out happened to be my wife, and I've been wanting to do that for years. God, she is so annoying. But, uh, why did you knock out my wife? Uh, well, because we want to fight Floyd Mayweather and be like him. Oh, well, I guess that's one way to do it. I mean, he knocked out his wife, and now he's got millions of dollars. Exactly, so we thought if we could knock out 50 people on camera, Floyd Mayweather would fight us for $100 million. Oh, well, I mean, if you need to knock out somebody else, uh, if I get knocked out on duty, I get to go home, and I get a purple heart. So, uh, so Jeffy can knock you out? Yeah, sure. I do, Jeffy. All right, sweet. <laughs> ah! 34, no! 34, no! Who was at the door, Junior? Was it Floyd Mayweather? No, it was a cop, and Jeffy knocked him out! He did what? Okay, Junior, this has gone too far. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. You have to be a part of it. You're next to be knocked out. No, I already got hit. Well, well you have glasses, so you're like two, you have two sets of eyes, so you count as two people. What? No, no, Junior, it's your turn to get knocked out. But that's gonna hurt. I don't want to get hit. Well, yeah, of course it's gonna hurt, Junior, but you have to do it. Uh, no, um, I could find 16 more people. Um, where can I find 16 more people? Uh... Mm. Oh, the people watching this video. Oh, oh, yeah. You can knock them out. All right, guys, everyone at home, put your nose up against the glass, okay, of your phone, of the TV, or the computer, whatever you're watching this on, put, put your nose up against the glass, and Jeffy's about to knock you out. All right. <laughs> oh! You just oh! got knocked out. You just got oh! knocked out. That's like a million and oh. Like, like, that's like a million or two million and oh. However many views this video got, that's how many people Jeffy just knocked out. Oh, yeah, Junior. And if you hit the like button, that means you just got back up and it didn't hurt and you're awesome and you have a lot of friends. But if you hit the dislike button, it means you have no friends. Yeah, if you hit the dislike button, that means you got knocked out and you have no friends. And you're and, not cool. And you're not cool. So if you hit the dislike button, um, you're dumb. But if you hit the like button, that means you got back up and you said that didn't hurt at all, right? Oh, yeah, for sure, Junior. Yeah, yeah. So um, I think we have all the proof we need to fight for. Floyd Mayweather. So, yeah. so let's call Steve Staleberger and get this fight set up and show him, show him all the footage I got. Well, let's do it. Hello? Hello, it's me, Steve Staleberger. <laughs> Maybe he'll get up soon, Jeffy. That was some hit, kid. <laughs> what, well, Jeffy, you're not supposed to hit him again. Now it's going to take forever for him to wake up. Oh, oh, those, those were some hit, kid. Oh. So why'd you call me? Well, me and Jeffy went around and I recorded him knocking out as many people as I could. He knocked out like 30 people on camera, but then he knocked out a million people around the world. He knocked out a million people? Yep, and he's never been defeated, so we want to fight Floyd Mayweather for a hundred million dollars. Hmm, well, Floyd Mayweather's retired. What, retired? Why? Well, he just did his last fight, so he's done. Yesterday's news. <laughs> well, then who can we fight for a hundred million dollars? Well, you could fight D-Money. He's never lost. Oh, Jeffy could definitely knock him out, right? Yeah. Oh, I can take D-Money. Okay, but I have to warn you. D-Money has knocked out more people than just an unexpecting old man on your front doorstep. Well, it doesn't matter. Jeffy can knock out anyone. I've seen him knock out a lot of people. Okay, I'll set it up for tonight. And whoever wins gets $100 million. Oh, my God. Jeffy, you're about to fight D-Money for $100 million. Yeah. Woo! $100 million. Oh, Hello, and welcome to Living Room Boxing. We couldn't get a boxing ring on such short notice, so we're doing it in the living room. In the left corner, my left, we have, with a record of 65 and 0, weighing at 180 pounds, D-Money. Oh, 65 and 0, 65 and 0, undefeated champion of the world. 100 million every fight, 100 million every night. Woo! in the right corner, my right, we have, with a record of two million and no, weighing at 110 pounds, Jeffy! Um, my balls itch, and I can't itch them with these gloves. All right, boxers, please meet in the middle of the living room. 
All right, gentlemen, we're gonna have infinite rounds until somebody gets knocked out because that's what the world wants to see. All right, get ready, gentlemen. One, two, three, go! All right, man, you ready to go? Let's go, man. Ooh, ooh, look at you. You're about to get knocked out, too. Ooh, 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 just got it four times. Ooh, 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 again. You ain't want this. Ooh, 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 ooh. come on, man. Fight back. What you doing? Oh, man, stop trying to hook me, man. Get, get on, man. Let's go. Ooh, ooh, what you doing? Ooh, where, where am I going? I'm over here. Ooh, look at you right there. Ooh, I'll stop, man. Stop trying to hook me, man. Oh, hell, man. You trying to kiss me? Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh. Man, I'm getting tired. believe what I'm seeing here, folks. Jeffy just defeated the undefeated, well, now defeated, D-Money. How's it feel, kid? Your know, feels great. Yeah, kind of warm out in the beginning. I uh, had, to, had to throw up some blocks, and then, uh, then I kissed him. He wasn't expecting that, so I felt like I got the upper hand on that one. And then uh, I finished him off with a strong uppercut in the end, and there he is. Well, Jeffy, you just won a hundred million dollars. Oh, yeah, that feels good, too. But uh, taxes sucks. So that's probably going to eat about half of that. But we'll be all right. Woo! Jeffy won a hundred million dollars. This is totally worth it. Woo! I'm just going to lay on my money all day. You mean my money? What, what are you doing here? Remember when he punched me in the face on the news? Uh, yeah. Well, my face is insured for over a hundred million dollars, so I'm suing you for a hundred million dollars. Oh man, we're gonna lose all this money that Jeffy just won. We just have to fight 50 more people so we can win this money again. Ooh, ooh, <gasps> Jeffy, they're still watching. Punch him in the face so we can win the money. All right. Chuck E. Cheese. No, Jeffy, it's 7 o'clock. They close soon. They close at 9. If we leave right now, I have two hours to Chuck or Cheese. No, it's a 30-minute drive, so you'd only have an hour and a half to Chuck or Cheese. Well, that's enough time for both of those activities. No, I'm not taking tonight, Jeffy. Danny, if you don't take me to Chuck E. Cheese, I'm gonna pull out my pickle and play with it. You better not, Jeffy. Oh, you don't <laughs> stop. stop squeaking that thing, Jeffy. Stop squeaking it. That's it. Give me that. Give. Ha ha! No more pickle for you. No more squeakage. Well, fine. I'm gonna play with my cock. Oh, Jeffy. Uh, uh, oh, stop doing that. Marvin, can we go dancing? I want you to take me dancing. You never take me dancing. Because I don't know how to dance. Why would I want to go do something I don't know how to do? But Marvin, please, can we go dancing? I really want to go dancing. We can go tomorrow. No, Marvin, you always say tomorrow, and then tomorrow is today, and we still never go dancing. We can go Sunday. Marvin, you only want to go Sunday because they close. Oh my god, I don't stop it! Shut up! Please. All right, listen, Jeffy, tomorrow I'll take you to Chuck E. Cheese. You promise? Yes, and we can go dancing at Chuck E. Cheese. Really? Yeah, we can dance with Mr. Chucky and everything, and we can have fun because there's no guys or crowds or loud music or alcohol. We can just have fun dancing with Jeffy. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But the only way I'll take you guys to Chuck E. Cheese to dance and play games is if you stay quiet tonight and sit on the couch and watch TV in the quiet. Okay. Really? Oh man. Now this is relaxing. Now this, this is fun. Please give me all your valuables! This is a robbery! What? We don't have any valuables! We're broke! Well give me your necklace! No, no, please! My parents gave this to me! I don't give shit! Oh, no! Give me your helmet! My helmet? Yes, your helmet. Oh. Helmet. Oh, yes. Let this go. Let this go in your ears. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Let's get out of here! Okay! Oh, well, thank God they didn't kill us. We can still sit and watch TV. Wait a minute, look at the size of this TV! Let's take it. Grab other side. Hey! Get back here with my TV! Those guys ruined my perfect quiet night. I'm gonna kill them! Hey! Hey, you get back here! Hey! My TV! Oh, oh I'm gonna kill them. I'm gonna find those guys, and I'm gonna kill them. Man, I can't believe TV fit in trunk. Well, it is Hyundai Sonata. Very roomy trunk. I think we've robbed enough people tonight to sell the valuables and afford the honeymoon. Bahamas, here we come.
let's go kick some ass. Let me suck your toes for five dollars. <laughs> Hey man, you're getting in the way of the toe fungus. You wouldn't happen to be able to tell me where these two Russian guys who robbed my house are, will you? What, what are you asking? There's these two Russian guys who robbed my house, so where are they at? I don't know, but that guy might. Put it, boobies out! Wait, is that Monopoly money? No, no, that, that guy, that guy wouldn't know what I was talking about. Okay, well what about him? Oh, that's the type of guy I'm looking for, so beat it. Really? So soon? I usually can't do it two times in one day. <laughs> hey you. What do you want? There's these two Russian guys who robbed my house, so where are they? I know where they are, but why would I tell you? Hmm. <coughs> yeah, that's why. <coughs> that's why. Now where are they at? Uh, I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Just give me a second. Tell me. I, I think you broke me in some of this. Let me get you a doctor. Hey there, somebody called the cops? No, I called a doctor. Yeah, well the strip club owner called the cops because he said somebody was beating people up and trying to suck toes. I did beat someone up, but I wasn't trying to suck toes. I was some weird guy. Uh-huh, and where is he? He left. Yeah, of course he did. So why'd you beat this guy up? I asked him a question and he wouldn't answer me. Really, Marvin? This is how you talk to people? You know, this is America. He doesn't have to talk to you if he doesn't want to. He punched me in the throat. You punched him in the throat? Why? Well, because he wouldn't answer my question. There was these two Russian guys who robbed my house and he said he knew where they were and he wouldn't tell me, so I punched him. Marvin, why didn't you you just call the cops. I could have helped you. Well, I wanted to do it on my own like a badass. Oh, is that why you're wearing a leather jacket? I'm assuming these are your sunglasses. Yeah. Yeah. Hit me over the head with a bottle. You hit him with a bottle, Marvin? I thought it was going to shatter over his head and be cool like in the movie. Well, this isn't a movie, Marvin. You could have killed him. He could have a concussion. Sir, do you want to press charges? Yeah. He wants to press charges, Marvin. I have to arrest you. Oh, no, come on. Listen, in all the cool movies, the people beat up random people to get the answers they want and find out who robbed them. Well, did he rob you? No. Okay, well, then he doesn't owe you anything. If anything, you owe him an apology. I'm sorry for punching you in the throat and hitting you in the head with a bottle. Sir, do you still want to press charges? Yeah. He wants to press charges. I'm going to have to take you in, Marvin. Oh, come on. This isn't very badass. No, it's not. All right, Marvin, you get your one phone call. Make it count. Okay. Baby, please answer. Uh, hello? Baby, I'm in jail. No, 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 no. You're not getting away with that lazy shit. You didn't even dial a number. <sighs> okay, now you get your one phone call. Try again. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Oh, please answer. Uh, hello? Baby, I'm in jail. Please bail me out. Marvin, where are you? I just said I'm in jail. Jail? Why are you in jail? Well, you know those two guys that robbed us and stole your necklace and Jeffy's helmet? Well, I went and beat up some guy because he said he knew where they were. Wait, did you get our stuff back? No, but if you come bail me out, I can get your stuff back. So you didn't get my necklace back? You just come bail me out and I can get All the right, stuff. All right, time's up. Sorry. No, no, no. Wait, we don't have that kind of money. All right, let's go to jail, buddy. Oh. All right, there you go, Marvin. Think about what you did. I was just trying to be a badass. I was just trying to get my stuff back. Hey, cutie. Ah! Oh, don't be frightened. It's just me, Bubbles. <laughs> and you looking pretty tasty. <laughs> I won't bite unless you want me to. No, 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 I don't want you to. Oh, you sure? You sure? I'm a little hungry for some white meat chicken. Uh, you got some legs? Ooh, or maybe do I want a thigh? <laughs> oh, now I want some penis! Ah! Uh, Marvin, you just made bail. What, I did? Uh, yeah, I, I just want to get you out of here because I don't want to see you get your cheeks clapped. Yeah, get, get, get me out of here, please. No, no, what? Oh, my white meat chicken! Bring it back! I'm hungry! Thank God you got me out of there. I was so scared. Yeah, you seem like you learned your lesson. I did. I won't beat up anyone else. Good, because the guy that you did beat up has a restraining order against you and you're not allowed within 100 yards of him. But I need to speak to that guy. He knows where the robbers are. He knows where to find them. Uh, okay, well, I'll try to arrange a meeting from 100 yards away. Come on. Okay. All right, Marvin, you're not allowed within 100 yards of the guy, so he's all the way on the other side of this football field. But he is willing to answer your questions, so just go ahead and yell those at him. How is he going to hear me? I don't know, just yell loud. Um, okay. Hey, excuse me, um, do you know the two Russian guys that robbed me where they're at? What, what did he say? I don't know, I can't hear him, he's 100 yards away. Uh, can you speak louder? But I, I, I got none of that. Okay, how about you just go ask him the questions I have because th this is ridiculous. Oh, yeah, that's way easier. I'll go talk to him. Okay. Okay. Sorry, man. We can't hear you from all the way over there. It's like 100 yards. Actually, 120 with end zone. So can you repeat that for me? I ain't telling you nothing. I'm not going to waste me breath. Oh, come on, man. We just want to know where the robbers are, please. Well, that's too bad. I ain't telling ye shit, even though I know where they are. <laughs>
Bahamas. Yeah? You want to tell me now? Huh? Where the Bahamas? The Bahamas? Where? Sleepy Beach Hotel Room 200. Okay, see how easy that was? Maybe if you were easy to talk to, nobody would hit you in the throat. If you a bitch. Man, Marvin, I see why you hit that guy. He is a pain in the ass. But I did get what you were looking for. They're in the Bahamas at the Sleepy Beach Hotel Room 200. Okay, let's go. Well, we... I, sorry, I thought we were going that way. Uh, okay. Oh, look! The Just Married sticker that I saw in the back of the car. Well, that means they are here. Second floor, let's go. Let's go. Oh, road trip! Look at this view! Bahamas so pretty. I'm so glad we were able to rob enough people to afford beach view. Kiss me, you Russian pig. <laughs> All right, Marvin, here it is, room 200. I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna kick their ass. Okay, but only if it's the people who really robbed you. If you beat up somebody else this time, I'm gonna have to arrest you again. Okay, I'm gonna make sure it's them, but I'm gonna kick some ass. <laughs> I don't see them. What do you mean you don't see them? They're, they're not in the room. <gasps> but look, there's my son's helmet and my wife's necklace. Okay, great. Grab it. Let's get out of here. Okay. Wait, you said it was two gay Russian guys, right? I mean, I think they were gay. Hmm. Is that them? Um, yeah, that, that, that's them. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go kick some ass. Can you grab those two things? But the stuff is right here. We could just leave. I'm gonna go kick some ass. It's payback time. <sighs> <sighs> Did I mean to interrupt? Yes, I did. Roder, who is this? Did you hire a stripper? No, did you? No. You took some that didn't belong to you. I mean, we took a lot of things that did not belong to us. Yes, that's how we afford room. Well, don't do it again. Oh, well, okay. Okay, sure. Yeah. I'll just leave you with that. Okay. Psych! <laughs> you hit my husband, you piece of shit! He hits gay people! Well, no, 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 that's not what it is. I just, I was... Kick his ass! <laughs> oh, a piece of shit! Help! 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 You oh, oh, this is a really nice bed. Oh, yeah, I need a vacation. How do the robbers even afford a place like this? Oh, <laughs> robbing people, obviously. Ooh, I wonder what's on TV. Oh, Tom and Jerry? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Tom, you're never gonna catch that mouse, you silly cat. What was that? Oh, shit, Marvin! Hey, break it up, break it up, come on, break it up, break it up. Mr. Officer, this man is homophobic piece of shit. He hit us for no reason. No, I hit him because they're the guys who robbed me. Marvin, what did I say about hitting people? I wanted payback. Are you the guys who robbed Marvin? Yes. Okay, well, this is the Bahamas and it's out of my jurisdiction, so there's not a lot I can do here. But if we take the stuff, do you agree to never rob Marvin ever again? Yes. Okay. Okay, good. See, Marvin, that's how you use your words. Yeah, um, we never hit you even when we were robbing you. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry for hitting you guys. Okay, good. Now you two can go back to making out. Oh, I'm going to blow you so hard. <laughs> Seriously, you can't arrest them? Marvin, let it go. You got your shit. Let's just go home. Okay. Ugh, and there are bear man ass cheeks out there. We should leave. No, there's not. Why did you look? <laughs> oh my god, you're so gay. Oh no, you just said that they Never mind. What, you wanted to see that? No, I did not. Oh, but there really are actually out there now. Why did you look again? You're so gay! No, no, listen! Okay, fine, I won't ever look again because, because I don't even want to look at that. Well, actually, that guy's whole penis is out. Yeah, sure. No, you don't want to see that? You're more of an ass man? What, no, I- <laughs> Oh my god, and you want dick too? Okay, that's it! You can grab my stuff, you grab it! Okay. God, you're so gay. All right, Jeffy, here's your helmet back. <laughs> And Rose, here's your necklace back. Oh, thank you, Marvin, my necklace. Okay, Marvin, if you ever get robbed again, just call the police. I will. I'm just glad everything's back to normal. <laughs> plot hole <laughs> goblin. <gasps> What are you doing here, plot hole goblin? There was a part of the video that didn't make sense. What didn't make sense? Yeah, the video was good. How did you drive from Florida to the Bahamas? The Bahamas is an island. Uh, uh, well, uh, you see, we drove the car onto a boat. Yeah, a ferry. A ferry, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it just, it took us to the Bahamas. Yeah, you get, like, as a boat. Like, how do you think they get cars to the Bahamas? Yeah, anyway? yeah, there are cars on the Bahamas. How do you think they got there, Yeah, huh? the ferries and ships. That would take days! Well, uh, yeah, we didn't say how long it took. Yeah, it was the, the multiple, I mean, it's let's, days. Uh, yeah, I mean, who gives a shit? Yeah, who cares? Yeah, right. <laughs> I fucking hate that guy. Yeah, he needs to hop off our Fun. dick. Like, I mean, we didn't even film in the Bahamas. No, it's Pensacola Beach, obviously. So, guys, what do you want to do today? I don't know. Joseph, is that your stomach? Oh, yeah, dude, my bad. I haven't eaten in three days. But y you should, like, eat something. Yeah. Well, not everybody has money like you, Cody, and I haven't seen any roadkill. Oh, I miss possum. I love possum. Ooh, dead possum's my favorite. 
Well, how about we go to McDonald's to get Happy Meals? But, Junior, we don't have money for Happy Meals. Well, guess who found somebody's wallet on the side of the road and took money out of it? Boss. Yeah, and I returned the wallet back to the person, so I took the money out because that's my fee for finding it, right? Sure, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I could have just not returned the wallet. Yeah, you could have returned the 20, too. Well, no, the money is my fee for finding it. But look, let's go get McDonald's! Yeah! Hey, welcome to McDonald's. What can I get you? Uh, can we get three Happy Meals? Yeah, sure. Let me just ring that up. What? Oh my god. Oh my god! Wait, what? You're the one trillionth person to come into a McDonald's ever! Wait, are you serious? Really, dude! Yeah, that means you get a one-year supply of McDonald's for free! Well, really? Yeah, what do you want? Oh, okay, can I get four large fries? Can I get a Big Mac? Guys, check out all this McDonald's! Isn't it awesome? Junior, I think it's really cool that you won a year supply of McDonald's, and I understand why you got the ten-piece nuggets to celebrate, but did you really need four large fries, three Happy Meals, two apple pies, and a Big Mac with extra Jeez. That was beautiful, Cody. Thank you. But yes, I do need all this food because I want a year supply of McDonald's. I gotta use it. Okay, can we have our Happy Meals now? Yeah, dude! Wait, no, no, guys, you can't eat those Happy Meals. What, dude? I haven't eaten in three days. Yeah, why can't we eat them? Because, guys, it says in the fine print that I can't share any of the McDonald's that I just won. What, what are you talking about, Junior? There's no fine print. You didn't sign anything. But what if that is a rule? Like, what if they see me sharing my McDonald's and they're like, it's supposed to be for him, not anyone else, and they take it away from me? Junior, I don't think they mind if you share. I don't think they expect you to eat all this by yourself. I just don't want to risk it, guys. I don't want to lose like a year's worth of McDonald's, so look, just go get some more McDonald's by yourselves. But, but we don't have any money. Okay, look, look, take this guy's wallet that I found and, and take some money out of it and go get some food. Wait, you said you returned the wallet. I lied! Okay, fine. We're gonna take this wallet and we're gonna get some food and then we're gonna return the wallet. Okay, fine, yeah, because all this McDonald's is for me and, and I'm the one who won it, so it's meant for me. Oh man, what do I want first? The Big Mac or the nuggets, the apple pies or the fries or the meal? I'm doing all of it! <laughs> Junior, get up, it's time for your first day of school. Junior? Junior, where are you? Ooh, a chicken nugget. Don't touch that chicken nugget. Junior, where are you? Ugh, that's my last chicken nugget, don't touch it. Junior, you're fat, what happened? I want a year supply of McDonald's and I've been eating it every day for a month. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That's why I haven't seen you downstairs for a month. Uh-huh, so uh, can you please just toss that chicken nugget in my mouth? I'm not tossing that chicken nugget in your mouth. It's time for you to get ready for school. Just please, just toss it right here in my mouth. <sighs> Look, here. Uh, here, fatty. Uh, hey, it didn't go in my mouth. Well, well, come on, it's time for you to get ready for school. Oh, can you at least order me a Happy Meal for school? No, no, I'm not ordering you a Happy Meal, it's come free. on. It's free, my apple pie, you bitch. Come on, fatty. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Junior, your belly's sticking out like you're Winnie the Pooh. Hey, your mom's Winnie the Pooh. No, Junior, I don't think you're allowed to make fat jokes anymore. Yeah, dude, I can't believe you let yourself go. Hey, hey, let me, let me roll over so I can yell at you. You win a year's worth of McDonald's and say you're not going to eat it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and maybe a midnight snack. Yeah, I can't lie, I, I would. Yeah. Can someone pass me my Happy Meal? Junior, it's right next to you. Well, like, can someone open it and put it in my mouth? <laughs> I wish we weren't talking about Happy Meal. Then I'd be down. All right, Kraus. I know you all had a wrong and boring summer and you couldn't wait to get back to school. Yeah, I miss school so much. I love it here. School, school. Who loves school? Cody loves school. Yeah. God, I hate you, Cody. Yeah, Cody, I hate you so much. You're such a nerd. I'm gonna flip your desk. Hmm. You need some help? No, I got it. Hmm. Hold on. Hold on, I just need a Diet Coke. Hmm. Are you sure? Just flip the desk yourself, nerd. Here we go. Uh, nerd. Yeah. So for the first day of school, we're gonna go around the class and you all are gonna say what you did over the summer. But now repeat, you can go first. Ooh, well this summer, I went to summer camp and I got first place in the talent show. I made best friend bracelets with all of my BFFs. We went roller skating and water skiing and jump rope. Oh, brother, someone take this girl's mouth away. Shut up, Junior. I also woke up this morning with a pimple on my face and I tried putting ointment on it, but it's still there. <laughs> Hey guys, her name should be Pim Pelope. <laughs> Look at that big fat pimple on her face. <laughs> I don't think someone who looks like you should be using the word fat. I, I I don't think someone as ugly as you should should be so ugly, but mom, look, look, who we're, look where we're at, you're fat. <laughs> wow, Penelope, it sounds like you had a very eventful summer. Cody, what did you do over the summer? Well, this summer, me and my boyfriend Ken went... 
Dude, Junior, are you putting french fries on your hamburger? Are you putting french fries on your hamburger? Yes, Cody, I'm putting french fries on my hamburger because I'm American and I can do that. And for the record, I got my hamburger without cheese, okay? So I'm trying to lose weight. Okay, well anyway, like I was saying, me and my- All right, thanks for sharing, Cody. Now who wants to go next? I, I, I wasn't finished. Hmm, tell me what you did over the summer, Junior. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, I, I, I won a year's supply of McDonald's, so I've been pretty much just eating that. Junior, if you keep eating like this, you're gonna get diabetes. Oh, Junior, you are truly a fat ass. Come up to the bar and let me talk to you about something. Uh, do you mind if you come to me? Because I don't think I can walk up there. Junior, just get up to the front of the class. Okay, it might take me a few minutes. Oh, God. I'm almost there. Okay, what, what are you talking about? Have you ever considered sumo wrestling? What? What's sumo wrestling? Well, it's when two big fat guys wear diapers and then they fight each other. That sounds gross. It is hilarious, but someone as fat as you would be good at it. Listen, I have an arch nemesis back in China, and he a sumo wrestler. He is fat, and I think that you shall fight him, and if you fight him and win, then you get no homework for the rest of the year. But the school year just started. Exactly. Well, th that's a deal. I want to do it. I don't want. I don't want homework for the rest of the year. Okay, then go home and start eating, you little piggy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll be home to train you soon. Add some more french fries and a cheeseburger on top. Jesus Christ, Junior. I mean, nice cans, but why aren't you wearing clothes? And also, what is this? Cheeseburger Mountain. Cheeseburger Mountain. Junior, just because you have a year supply of McDonald's doesn't mean you have to make Cheeseburger Mountain. Look, Cody, I'm the one with the year supply of food from McDonald's, so if I want to make Cheeseburger Mountain, I can make Cheeseburger Mountain. And the reason why I'm not wearing clothes is I spilled ketchup on my shirt and shorts, and I took them off, and the only thing I had to wear was this loincloth thing. <sighs> okay, fine, Junior, whatever. I just came over because I wanted to know what the teacher wanted earlier. Like, did he want to make a deal with you or something where you'd like do stuff for him to get an A? Because, I mean, if that's the case, I'll do it. I'll take one for the team. I don't mind. No, he just wanted me to eat more so I could get fatter. He wants me to be a sumo wrestler. A sumo wrestler? Yeah, he wants me to fight, like, one of his enemies as a sumo wrestler or something. What? Uh, oh, no, Junior. It, it's not Wohee Big, is it? Who's Wohee Big? Wohee Big is the most dangerous sumo wrestler in the world. He's a 10-ton, 10-time champion. One time, he even killed a man by sitting on his face. What, really? Yeah, I have the video, and I, I watch it, like, all the time. And I even save the timestamp for when it happens. Oh, well, I don't know who I'm fighting, but I don't think it's whoa he big. But no, the teacher said if I beat the guy, he won't make me do your homework for the whole school year. Dope. Yeah, that's really cool, yeah. I think that's the teacher. Uh, go answer the door and then leave. But, all right. Yeah, well, I, I don't want you to distract me. I got to eat and I got to focus, Cody. I got to focus. Okay. All right, Tubby, I got you some lard. Lard? I mean McDonald's. Not fat enough. You need to drink this lard if you want to beat Wohe Big. I am fighting Wohe Big? Yeah, I think you got what it takes. You're fat, he's fat. You got to drink this lard if you want to get big. Okay, I'll drink it. When's the fight? Like next week? No, it's right now. So we got to go. You got to hurry up and drink this. Come on, let's go. You got to drink it walk. Drink it walk. Let's go. Hello and welcome to the 11th annual Living Room Sumo Wrestling Tournament. Over here, we have the 10-ton, ten 10-time ten champion, Wohi Big. Oh, no, Kota Kojira. Whoa, he really is big. And over here, we have the newcomer, Junior. Oh, man, I can't drink any more lard. Oh, you have to. You only got a little bit left. All right, now open wide. Oh. All right. First wrestler to be knocked out of this circle loses. Go! All right, come on, drink it. You only got a little bit left. Uh, all right, you did it. I don't feel good. All right, now get up there and go. Oh, domo rigato, Mr. Roboto. I don't know what I'm doing. Just push him out of the circle. Push him out of the circle? Oh, well, it's over, folks. How disappointing. But to be fair, who really thought a child could defeat the 10-ton, ten 10-time ten champion? Although I guess now he's the 10-ton, ten 11-time champion, which 
isn't as much fun to say. You so dumb! You so stupid! How you rules the fight? Now you're gonna get home for the rest of the year! Dumb! Oh my god, what happened? You got knocked out, kid. I don't even know how to sumo wrestle. Clearly. Well, I have other bad news for you. You also have diabetes from all the crap you've been eating. What, diabetes? Yeah, so I'm gonna have to take away your year's supply of McDonald's. What? You can't take that away! Well, I can if you've been abusing it, which you clearly have been. What? Well, can I at least finish my french fries? No. Hey, no, hey, stop it. No, 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 no. My french fries. These are for me. Oh. <laughs> Ugh, Jesus Christ, these are stale. How long have these been here? What you're gonna do is, you're gonna have your parents come with you to school tomorrow, and they're gonna tell the class what they do for a living. And if they don't come to school with you, then you fail. Uh, what if we don't have parents? Then I suggest you pay someone to pretend to be your parent tomorrow. Okay. My dad doesn't even have a job. He just sits at home and watches TV all day. I don't even know what my parents do. And one more thing, Crass. Whosever parent has the coolest job will win an iPhone 13 that my son made in shop. An iPhone 13? I want that! Me too! Oh, dude, that's not fair! I don't have parents! Uh, Cody, can I borrow one of yours? Back off, Joseph. Get your own parent. Dude, you have two! You can share! Uh, guys, my dad's gonna get a really cool job and he's gonna be at your parents' jobs. No, uh -huh. No, he's not, Junior. Your dad just sits at home and watches TV all day. Well, I'll show you guys a really cool job. My daddy has the coolest job. He's the Tooth Fairy and the Easter Bunny. My parents aren't there for me. That's why I bully people. Hey, Donnie! Hey, Jeffy, how was school? It was good. Um, tomorrow's career day, so I need you to come to my school and tell everyone in my class that you're the Tooth Fairy and the Easter Bunny. Wait, tomorrow's career day? Yep. And I have to go in front of your class and tell them what I do for a job? Uh-huh. Marvin, what is your job? Uh, I, I, I do stuff. I work. I, I clean around the house. I... I don't have a job. You don't have a job? How do we pay our bills? Well, we get unemployment checks, baby. Marvin, what are you going to do tomorrow when you tell the whole class you don't have a job? Jeffy will be embarrassed. Well, no, I can tell him I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the Tooth Fairy and the Easter Bunny. Bingo. Marvin, all the other parents are the Tooth Fairy and the Easter Bunny, too. Well, don't tell Jeffy that. <laughs> Hold on, let me see who that is. Hello? Hey Marvin, it's that time of the month again. Where's your house payment? Uh, I, I don't have the money for my house payment this month. You don't have your money for your house payment? Every month with this, Marvin! How do you get money? Do you not have a job? Well, no, I don't have a job. I mean, you don't have a job? Well, I'm looking- No what? wonder you can't pay your house payment! Why don't you have a job? I've been looking, I, I just don't know who's hiring. Everyone's hiring! Why don't you go get a job at Footlong Wieners? They're hiring, they'll hire anybody! W what place is that? It's a hot dog shop! Okay, I, I will go in a few weeks and- No, you will go right now! Actually, you're gonna go right this second! Come on, well, you're gonna go there, and if you don't have your house payment and a job by tomorrow, you're gonna be seeing my footlong wiener! Oh, okay, let, let me go grab my keys! <sighs> Who's at the door, Marvin? It was good money. He said the house payments do it. Jeffy, stop it, you're distracting me! You're just Jeffy, you're distracting me! Go, 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 go! It was good, man. He said my house payment was due and I need to get a job. You do need to get a job. Well, what do you do for a job? I cook and clean and look pretty. I wish I could do what you do and just look pretty. I need to get a job because I don't want to embarrass Jeffy tomorrow. I'm going to go apply for one. Hey there, welcome to Footlong Wieners. What kind of hot dog do you want? Oh, I'm not hungry. I was wondering if you guys were hiring. Uh, no, no, we're not hiring. Well, you have that sign right there that says, we hire. Damn it, I thought I took that down. Okay, yes, we're hiring. I just don't like doing interviews. Well, what positions do you have open? Well, we don't really have any positions. Oh, we need a new sign holder. A sign holder? Yeah, you know, somebody who wears a big, goofy hot dog costume and stands on the corner holding a sign that says, taste my wiener. Wait, 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 a, a big hot dog outfit? Like, it's, it's 90 degrees outside. Yeah, I know. That's why no one wants the job. As a matter of fact, the last guy that had the job died of heat stroke. He died of a heat stroke? Yeah, he's still in the costume right now. When did he die? This morning. Hey, poor bastard. Well, how much does it pay? Oh, it pays a whopping $8 an hour. <sighs> I really need the job. Okay, I'll go peel the costume off the dead guy. Wait, what size are you? <laughs> it doesn't matter. You're gonna look stupid in the costume anyway. Oh man, this costume's so hot. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be out here in that. So what do I have to do? Well, you just have to hold this sign and yell, taste my wiener at passing cars. I'm not gonna yell that. Oh, come on, you have to. It's advertising for a restaurant. They're not gonna know what I'm talking about. Believe me, when they see this sign, they're gonna want a hot dog and they're gonna come to Footlong Wieners. <sighs> okay, well, can you get me some water? It's really hot outside. No, because you're not selling water. That would just be confusing for people. I mean, I can blend up a hot dog and you can drink that. That's disgusting. That's not gonna hydrate me. Well, just hold the sign. <sighs> okay. Taste my wiener. 
Come taste my wiener. Taste my wiener? Uh, yeah, taste my wiener. Hey, you need to cut that out. There's kids around here. Well, well they can have one too. Wait, what? Oh, no, no, it's, 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 it's a foot long, it's a, it's a hot dog at foot long wieners. I doubt it's that big. Well, it is, you can go inside and check it out. Yo, there's, yeah, yeah, there's kids around here. I wonder if Marvin found a job. Uh. Marvin, you look awful. Yeah, Dan, it looks like someone beat your meat and not in a good way. I just got done with my job. What is your job? I'm a sign holder for foot long wieners. I stand by the road and I yell, taste my wiener at traffic. That's the only job you could find? Yeah, it pays $8 an hour. And you get a heat stroke and people beat you up. Wow, that'll pay the mortgage. So, Dan, you ready for career day tomorrow? I think it would be less embarrassing for me to say I don't have a job. Oh, no, Dan, come on. Let's show everyone your wiener. All right, Crafts, today is career day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call you up one by one, and then your parents are going to come up to the board and tell the Crafts what they do for a living. Okay, let's start with, uh, Cody, you, bring your parents up to the Crafts. Ooh, it's our turn, it's our turn. Oh, I'm so nervous. I didn't change my tampon. Baby, I told you to change it before we left. Guy, guys, just remember what we practiced, okay? Please don't embarrass me. Mom, remember you work at a dentist's office. And I'm an astronaut, right? Y yeah, sure. Yes. Come on. Okay, guys, talk. Hello, little children. My name is Judith, and I'm an OnlyFans model. Wait, Mom, you're not supposed to tell him that. Oh, Cody, the truth is always better than a lie. I sell pictures of myself naked. Yeah, and my name's Tyrone, and I'm an astronaut. I explore booty. You ever seen the planet Uranus? I've been there. Tell him about it, baby. Tell him about it. Oh, it's true. We took a picture of him dressed up like an astronaut. Just going, okay, okay, I think we're done here. Come on. Thank you, Cody's parents. I'll be sure to subscribe to your Ori fans. All right, Joseph, you're next. Come on, Hansel, it's our turn. Now, remember what I told you. You're a football player, okay? Beer. I'm not old enough to buy beer. Just come on. All right, guys, this is a homeless guy paid to be my dad. Uh, uh I mean, he's a football player. He's won three Super Bowls. Tell him. Touchdown. <laughs> Yeah, that's his touchdown dance. Uh, I pissed. Oh, God. Uh, he can't control his bladder from all the concussions he's gotten. All right. Thank you, Joseph. All right, Penelope, you're up next. Uh, you ready, Dad? Yeah, let's just get this over with. I got a lot of jobs to go do. You're never there for me, Dad. What do you want from me, Penelope? I don't like being around your mother because she's so fat. Um, hi, my name's Penelope. We and... know who you are. Shut up, Junior. Come on, let her talk, man. See, I got you. And my dad has a lot of jobs. Tell him about it, Dad. Yeah, uh, I'm a cop, I'm a doctor, I'm a firefighter. I mean, you know, you've seen me around. I do everything. Except raise me. Oh, come on, that's only because I can't stand to be around your mother. I'd rather work every minute of every day than be around her. She raises me better than you do. Oh, 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 oh hold on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, hold on. Hey, class, I bet I know what you're wondering. You're wondering, why isn't Penelope's mother here today on career day? Ugh. I wonder what her career could be. Oh, I'll tell you what her career is. Her career is sitting on her fat ass and collecting the child support check she gets from me. Oh, and let's not forget her other career, eating at the buffet every single day. Oh, and then there's the best one. She also has a job working as Shamu at SeaWorld. You know, she really wanted to be here today, but they couldn't fit her through the door because she's a whale. Mom doesn't talk this badly about you. Well, because there's nothing bad to say about me. Look at me. I'm perfect. I'm gorgeous. I mean, you're kind of thin yourself, but that's only because your mother doesn't let you eat. She asks you if you want a plate, and then she leaves and just never comes back because she eats it. You're embarrassing me! Oh, oh, I'm embarrassing you. Oh, have you seen your mother at the Golden Corral? That's embarrassing. Hey, have they banned her from there yet? Oh my god, I hate you! <sighs> anyway, kids, that's Korea Day. So, you know, just don't get married and don't have kids. All right. Thank you, Penelope's dad. Very inspirational. Something we can all get behind. Anyway, all right, Patrick, you're next. Come on, Dad, it's our turn. <laughs> hey, everybody. My daddy just shook his clown, and he can juggle, and he cleans up elephant poop. Show him, Dad. Hey, everybody. Watch this. <laughs> See, it just keeps going and going. Uh-oh. I think he swallowed too many apples. Thank you, Patrick. All right, Junior, you're next. All right, Dad, it's our turn. Let's get this over with. You know I don't want to be here. I know. All right, guys, this is my dad. Tell him what you do. Oh, I'm Junior's dad. I sit on my butt all day and watch TV and collect disability checks. Oh, you should meet my ex-wife. She does the same thing. You two would be perfect for each other. You hear that, Penelope? You want this guy to be your dad? Ooh, 
Ooh, you could have a sister, Junior. Well, no, I'm trying to date her. Oh, that would be weird. <laughs> Come on, Dad. All right, thank you, Junior and Junior's dad. All right, Jeffy, you're next. Oh, look, Danny, it's your turn. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Everyone else had really cool jobs. Well, I think you're cool, Danny. You're just a beat up wiener. Come on. <sighs> <sighs> Hello, my name is Marvin. I work at Footlong Wieners. I'm the sign holder. I stand outside dressed as a hot dog and I say, come taste my wiener. Yep, he sure does. Hey, I told you to stop. This kid's in here. Oh, no, it's just my job. <laughs> hey, hey, stop beating my wiener. Uh, How was career day, Marvin? I got beat up again by the same guy that beat me up earlier because he's the dad of one of the sons there. And he was an astronaut. Ooh. You should be an astronaut, Marvin. I don't think you want me to be the same type of astronaut he is. Was everyone impressed with your job? I don't know. I got knocked out. Yeah, everyone loved him being a wiener, but uh, I think it was a good idea not to tell everyone that he's the Tooth Fairy and the Easter Bunny. I didn't want all my friends to get jealous. <laughs> oh, don't, don't, don't worry. I'll get it. I'll answer it. Hello? What the hell are you wearing? Uh... Because by the looks of it, you don't have my house payment. And I will not accept that as payment. I get enough of that from my massage parlor. Oh, no, this is for my job. I hold the sign and I yell, taste my wiener. Mm-hmm. You think I could borrow that sign, Marvin? I want to wear it around my house so my maid will see it. Well, I, I need this sign for my job. Well, I'll accept that as payment. And also, can I get a picture? What? Well, no! Too late. What? No, I, don't take pictures of me. You think I can get a selfie? No! Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, no. All right. See you later, wiener. What? No. <sighs> Who's at the door, Marvin? It was Goodman. He wanted my house payment. So guess who paid our bills for the month? You did! I'm one happy wiener. Guys, guys, check it out. I got the new iPhone. How'd you get that? Oh, well, I had the coolest job today, career day, so my daughter won it. But I took it away from her because I was too afraid my ex-wife might eat it since it's an apple product. But <laughs> what am I thinking? She'd never eat an apple. That's too healthy. No, she'd want a, a caramel apple or an apple pie or an apple cider. I mean, you get it. She's fat. She's a hippo. Oh. Anyway, Marvin, you're fired. Fired? For what? Well, we got a lot of complaints from people saying that you holding a sign that said, Taste My Wiener, made them uncomfortable. You told me to hold that sign. Yeah, but we're kind of doing like a 180 with the company, so we're going to start selling burgers and have people hold signs that say, Put your meat between my buns. We think that'll go a lot better. Well, can I have that job? Yeah, sure. You can start on Monday. Yay, I got a new job already. <sighs> Yay. Good. Charlie, where is Charlie? There is Charlie. He got everything that you need. He likes to eat food and stuff. But Charlie, he is, he's awesome. Here's the Charlie and Friends show. Do, 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 do. Charlie and Friends was filmed in front of a live audience. <laughs> oh, hi, guys. I'm Charlie. And today, I'ma drive this car! Blindfolded. <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> oh, Charlie, you can't drive blindfolded! That's so dangerous! <laughs> huh? Breaking news, okay? Famous TV actor from the hit TV show, Charlie and Friends, has been arrested for reckless driving. He was driving blindfolded and hit a family of six, injuring everyone in the vehicle. What? Charlie's in jail? There will never be another new episode of Charlie and Friends! <laughs> All right, zebra cakes, are you white with black stripes or black with white stripes? <laughs> Uh, wait, so you're crying because your favorite TV show character is in jail? Yes! And I don't think I'll ever stop crying! <laughs> oh my god, he's so annoying! Oh, uh, Joseph, I'm so bored! Me too, dude! Guys, 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 guys. 
What is it, Cody? My mom bought me three tickets to a dinosaur monster truck rally on ice. A dinosaur monster truck rally? On ice? Yeah, it's dinosaurs driving monster trucks on ice. Oh my god, that's so awesome! Yeah, dude, I gotta go! Are they real dinosaurs? Well, I mean, it's obviously just guys in dinosaur costumes driving monster trucks, but there's no way they can see out of those costumes. Someone's gonna die. Oh, I'm only going if someone dies, dude. Yeah, I wanna see someone die. Well, I heard at their last show in Denver, a monster truck plowed into the stands and killed 18 people. Oh, we're totally gonna die. Yo, we're definitely gonna die, dude. Oh, hold on, hold on. What row are we? Row one, baby! Oh, we're gonna die! Roadkill! Oh, all right, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Come on, let's go. Oh, let's go, let's go. Oh, hold on. I gotta ask my dad. <laughs> I don't have parents. Lame. Oh, okay, hold on. Look, my dad's gonna let me go because my dad loves to see me happy. <laughs> oh, Charlie, I'm so sad. <laughs> um, hey, Dad. Uh, hey, Dad. I know you're crying, but um, I gotta ask you something, Dad. What do you want, Junior? Um, so my friends have tickets to Dinosaur Monster Truck Rally on Ice, and we're really hoping the monster truck will like jump in the stands and kill us. So can I go? No, you can't go. If I'm not happy, then you're not happy. Well, why are you unhappy, Dad? Because Charlie's in jail, and I'm not gonna be happy until he's out of jail. Um, okay. <sighs> what a long face, buddy. What'd your dad say? He said no. <laughs> What's wrong with your dad, dude? Yeah, I didn't know he was such a square. Well, he only said no because he's sad. Why is he sad? Because his favorite TV show character, Charlie, got arrested. Ooh, for what, dude? I don't know. Ooh, I'm gonna look it up. Oh my god. What, what'd he do? It says he was driving blindfolded and he crashed into a minivan with a family of six in it. Ooh, did they die? No, they just all sprained their ankles really bad. Aww. But still, that's so stupid. You know, he's young, he's a millionaire, he has his whole life ahead of him, and he threw it all away because he decided to drive impaired. Well, my dad said he's only going to be happy when Charlie gets out of jail. Oh, Junior, he's not getting out of jail anytime soon. He's going to be in there for at least five days. Five days? Well, I was hoping that if Charlie got out, my dad would be happy enough to let me go to the monster truck rally. Well, he's not getting out tonight. Night, Junior. But look, the monster truck rally doesn't start for another two hours, so you have until then to conv your, conv convince your dad to let you go, you know? You know, that's what I meant to say. But my brain decided to shut down. Yeah, I can tell. Well, listen, okay, so we have two hours. <gasps> what if we break Charlie out of jail, okay, and then we bring him here, and then my dad meets Charlie, and he's so happy, he'll let me go to the monster truck rally. Junior, that's a lot of work to go through just to see dinosaurs driving monster trucks on ice. Well, Cody, when will I ever see dinosaurs driving monster trucks on ice again? I mean, probably never. I'm pretty sure this is their last show. I mean, they have a lot of lawsuits going on because a lot of people have died. And I mean, it's pretty crazy if you think about it. It's just literally people in dinosaur costumes driving monster trucks on ice. It's a total shit show. Like, they're going to jump the ramp. And when they land, they can't use the brakes because of the ice. And they're just going to plow into the stands and people are going to die. It's going to be really short. I have to go to that. Yeah, it does sound awesome. Okay, so guys, who's with me to break Charlie out of jail tonight? Uh, you guys have fun breaking Charlie out of jail. I'm going to go ahead and go to the to the monster truck rally and take my seat. J J J Joseph, give me some popcorn. P popcorn? He didn't hear me. Oh, Cody, will you please help me break Charlie out of jail? I have to go to this monster truck rally. I don't know. Pretty please. With what on top? Pretty please with a cherry on top. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll do it. Oh, okay, let's go. Okay, so my plan is we're going to go to the jail. We're going to go to the visitation hours for Charlie, and then we're going to break him out. Oh, oh, I know. I know. I could, tie, I could hide a key up my butt. I'll hide a key up your butt? Yeah. I mean. You think that'll help? I mean, I guess. Well, it's already up there, so I'll just do that, and we'll see what happens. Okay. <laughs> All right, there he is, Charlie, the criminal. Now you guys get five minutes of visitation, but no funny business. I got my eyes on you. All right, Cody, we have to break him out quick. <laughs> hey, psst, Charlie. Oh. Hi, guys. I'm Charlie. And today, I'm in jail. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize you talked like that all the time. Yeah, it's really weird. Hey, Charlie, we want to help you. You want to help me? Well, I haven't had my one phone call today. I don't have my cell phone. <laughs> That's pretty good. Where's the laughing coming from? I don't know. Look, 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 Charlie, we want to help you break out of here. Help me break out? I'm not a genie in a lamp. Uh, now I see why he has writers. Yeah, no, no, we want to help you break out of jail. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. No, 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 we want to help you break out of jail. Look, 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 look. So this is what we want to do. So we want you to fake like you're sick. And then we're going to tell the guard that you're really sick. He's going to open up the, the, the cell, and then when he gets in here, we're going to knock him out, and you're going to escape with us. Sounds like a plan. All right, all right let's, go get, let's go get the guard. Okay. Guard, guard, guard! What? What is it? Did he want you to sneak him something in your butt? No. Oh, well then what is it? Uh, Charlie is really sick. You have to go check on him. Take care of him. What, take care of him? I'm not his little mommy. You're in jail. Get over it. Well, no, no, no. I, I think Charlie might die. He's, like, really sick. He, he might die. Oh, man. He'd be the third person to die in here this week. All right, fine. I'll just check on him. 
All right, Charlie, act like you're sick. Oh, oh, oh my stomach hurts so bad. I'm pooping so much. Oh. Man, Charlie, you don't even have your pants down. He's pooping in his pants. Well, well shouldn't you go in there and change him? What, change him? No, he's a grown ass man. Oh, I keep pooping. Oh. Yeah, you, you should definitely change him. All right, I'll, I'll at least try to change him. Let me unlock this. Oh. Wait a minute. These aren't the cell keys. These are my car keys. I drive a Hyundai Sonata in stormy sea blue. <laughs> it's sick. Well, can you just like let him out? You see this button right here? I can make my car back up without even being inside. Well, you should really like open the cell. We should go check on him. Uh, well, I can't do it with these. I'm gonna have to put these out. Uh, these are the cell keys. Well, hurry up and open it. Get it open. <laughs> All right, poopy pants, take those clothes off. Take my clothes off? You have to take me to dinner first. Where the hell is that laugh track coming from? He's in solitary confinement. There's no one around. Yeah, it's really weird. So, hey, uh, if you don't want to change his poopy pants, I'll do it. Really? You'd do that for me? Yeah, it doesn't seem like you want to do it. No, I really don't like wiping grown men's poopy butts. Okay, you can do it. Okay, so, uh, if you just cover your eyes for, like, five minutes, I'll change his pants. You know what? I'm gonna trust you, because you definitely don't seem like the kind of person who would break him out of jail, then take him home to your dad, because your dad's his biggest fan, and then harbor a fugitive for a while until I randomly come search your house. What? No, 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 I would never do that. I know you wouldn't, buddy. I'm gonna cover my eyes now. Okay, uh... Come on, Charlie, let's go change your pants. Escape, 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 run, 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 run. <laughs> You know, it uh, sure sounds like I was wrong about you. All right, Charlie, this is my house. Oh, wow, a lot better than the place we were just at. Why are they laughing? It wasn't that funny. I think they laugh at everything he says. All right, Charlie, I need you to meet my dad. Okay. Come on. Oh, dad, we have a surprise for you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, dad? Dad? Where are you, dad? Your dad must have left when you were five years old. My mind did. Well, no, 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 I promise he was here. Sure he was, little one. Oh, no, 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 let's go ask Chef Pee Pee. Chef who now? Oh, man, I can't wait to eat my applesauce. Come on, get in there. God. Hey, Chef Pee Pee. What do you want, Junior? I'm trying to eat this applesauce. Why don't you just use a normal spoon? Because all the spoons are dirty, Cody. Well, why don't you just pour the applesauce into the ladle and eat it out of that? Shut up, Cody. God. Um, Chef Pee Pee, do you know who my dad is? Oh, yeah, your dad is so depressed. I think he said he was going to a monster truck rally to get ran over by a truck? Whoa, 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 what? So your dad would have died to his monster truck on ice? Yeah, yeah, that's it. But Cody, my dad went to the monster truck rally. Well, that means we can just go. He won't know. Okay, then let's go. Screw the whole Charlie thing. Okay. Come on, Cody, we gotta go. Where are you guys going? Oh, uh... I forgot he was here. Yeah, um, so we're going to a monster truck rally. Ooh, can I come? Uh, we don't have enough tickets. Uh-huh. Yeah, so, so go hide somewhere in the house. Ooh, I love hide and seek. Come on, Cody, hurry, we're gonna be late. Hey. Uh, hello, officer. Don't hello, officer me. You broke my trust, and now I'm mad. I'm really mad, and you wouldn't like me when I'm mad, because I throw things and I say things I don't mean, ugly face. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. You're actually kind of cute. Uh, officer, I didn't lie to you. Charlie broke out of jail on his own. Oh, so you're telling me you didn't break Charlie out of jail and then bring him back to your house to show your dad because your dad's his biggest fan just so you could go to some kind of monster truck rally with dinosaurs and ice? No. Well, that's what it looks like to me. Hmm? No. Oh, no, no, I promise that's not what happened. Charlie is not in this house. You promise? I promise. You pinky promise? I pinky promise. Okay. I guess I believe you. Wait a minute, is that a laugh track? That, that means he's here, he's telling jokes, and that means you lied to me. I'm gonna go look for him. Oh, okay, Cody, while he looks for Charlie, let's go to the monster truck rally. No, 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 you don't. You're not, my head. Here you go, officer, here's your hat. What? Thank you, you know what? You can go, I like you, thanks. Wait, he gets to go? Yeah, cause I like him, he got my hat. People don't do that kind of thing anymore. But I don't like you, because you lied to me, twice. Well, I didn't mean to lie, I mean, I didn't lie. He's not here, can I go to the monster rally? No, you and me are gonna go look for Charlie in your house, now come on. <sighs> Okay. All right, now where could Charlie be? I'm telling you, he's not in this house. I don't believe you anymore, liar. Hmm. Oh, I know how to make Charlie come out. Time for Charlie, who likes Charlie? We like Charlie. Everybody loves some Charlie. Who's got Charlie? Where's Charlie? There's Charlie! Oh, dang it, he got me. What? You've lied three times, triple liar. Uh, Come here, Charlie. Uh, ah! All right, Charlie, you're going back to jail for five days. No, my butt can't handle jail. Well, you should have thought about that before you drove blindfolded. Nyah! Come on. Well, maybe I can still make the monster truck rally. Man, that monster truck rally was amazing. Oh, it was totally awesome. I loved it. Wait, you guys are back? The monster truck rally ended already? Yeah, it ended early because people died. Yeah, a monster truck flew over our head and it killed the people in the road behind us. Yeah, the tires missed our head by like an inch. Those people are so lucky. Oh, man, I had a blast, Junior. I even forgot Charlie was locked up. Man, 
I miss all that? Yeah, sucks to be you. <laughs> well, well, Dad, while you were gone, Charlie was in the house. What did I tell you about lying, Junior? You're grounded. Oh, little old face, buddy.